Vic's here whinging about being on camera. You must be used to this from your touring car days. Yeah, but that was a long time ago, wasn't it? So <laughs> now you get old, you get shy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we are standing in front of your very beautiful Corbeau stand, which has now been going for a rather long time, haven't you? Yeah, it was started in 63 by Colin Folwell. So um, he was the uh, instigator of racing seats yeah. and it was the first company in the world to make a racing seat so that's quite a, a prestigious thing to have and we bought the company in 2010. That's incredible. You're not just racing seats are you? No we do uh, road car uh, seats for people who want a different type of seat in their car. Uh, we do harnesses, seats so all, mostly safety equipment. Yeah. Um, we, we do uh, seats for marine, the marine industry, the MOD so we're we're a little secret little company, really. <laughs> Tell us about what you have on your stand today. Well, this, this is just our range of FIA seats. So um, what we have here is all the different... So there's two different levels of FIA seats for, for motorsport, which is um, the, the numbers are FIA 8855, which is a, more of a club and lower level seat, and then the 8862 seats, and now which is in GT's uh, touring car and world touring cars, world rally cross and all that. So um, some have got five years homologation, the dearer ones or the 8862 are uh, 10 years homologation. Just how much has it changed since you were racing in Britain? <laughs> Jesus, I had a wooden box and a bit of foam, but no, seriously, it's, it's changed a lot. I mean, when we all first started racing, the FIA wasn't involved, so there was really no safety checks on the seats. Um, so they started doing, um, they set a, a specification down, and uh, since 2000, there's been, like, they all have to be FIA approved. So the safety element's grown immensely. I mean, obviously, you know, everyone knows that motorsport's dangerous. And uh, I think over the years now, it's, uh, it's proved that, I mean, we, we've seen some horrific accidents in cars where people have survived now, to the, down to the fact of the, the uh, tests and uh, stringent checks and build quality that we have to adhere to to please the FIA. Yeah. They are very, very beautiful. They look very comfortable. Good. I want one in my lounge. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people who have got... Um, yeah, uh, the office ones they the have. The office they? ones <laughs> and the games. And then we, yeah. we had a guy come in who just built a, a cinema in his thing and he, he wanted... Uh, yeah. We'd done a really big seat that he could sit himself and two boys in. So <laughs> he's got that in it. So, yeah, it's yeah. a weird and wonderful things we do. You can do fully, obviously, fully customised, fully personalised. Yeah, you're working then. hard here, aren't you, for that office chair? <laughs> <laughs> With my name on, please, on That's the back. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Why Motorsport Days show, then? Um, right, we, well, ben, ben approached us a couple of years ago and told us what he was up to, and obviously... You know, there's always you need to be in the market. You need to be showing your your goods. Yeah. So, we we gave it a try last year, um, and then we had a meeting with Ben and said, look, you know, this could be a little better uh, because obviously you've got the the track uh, stuff going on downstairs, and everyone seems to be wanting to have a ride around in a car rather than looking at boring seats and engineering. Yeah. So, so. Now, this year, we, we want to support it because we think it's the right time of year to have a show. I mean, Autosport is great, but in January, everyone comes there, they all give you sort of like orders and they all want stuff, but the timeline to get it ready for the beginning yeah. of the year is quite short. Yeah. So November is a really good time to, to have a show. And I think to have the track activity and all the people who are allowed to promote their their goods upstairs is a really good idea yeah. and I think you know yes it's growing year on year this year's ten times better than last year and um, hopefully you know ben, long may Ben carry on doing it really so he's done a good job yeah wonderful well I hope the rest of your day is very successful it will be enjoy I'll... the rugby yeah <laughs> and you thank you don't go downstairs it's raining yeah.